Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Next Level Fishing TV Top Gear. What you're about to see today is not condoned by Old Town in any way, shape, or form. But it's pretty clear you don't care about these things because you are watching this. Welcome to another episode of my Top Gear series with Next Level Fishing TV. Today for roughly $10, we're gonna give this a speed boost and I'm gonna tell you all about it right after this. My name's Chris Castro and you're watching my series and show Top Gear with Next Level Fishing TV. A series where I hunt old and new kayak gear and just try and make them better. The goal today is to get her down to two to three inches. That being said, this series is raw and not everything goes as planned. Okay, so this is the prop for the Minkota. And over there in this little corner is actually the kill switch, which Old Town has basically doubled down as your turning tool slash wrench, extra pin there uh, for any type of maintenance here. So with that, you can actually just put that in there. Let's take a look at this prop here. That's already pretty loose. So here's a prop. This is pretty uh, traditional prop that we see on all Minkotas. I'm sure there's different fittings for different models, but this is the one that is equipped. You can obviously see already some nicking and damaged, um, you know, bottom scraping, etc. I've been told that when these start to uh, sort of eat away right here on these edges that you will see a performance drop on them pretty quickly. I don't know how true that is. I've just, it's just something that I've heard. So let me show you guys what I have here. So here's my Mencota prop. And this is what we're gonna be replacing it with. I got this idea from uh, Duck Tran and Jeff Mallet. They seem, they seem to get, def, for sure, they seem to get a speed boost out of it. Uh, how much? It, they kind of both had a little bit slightly different experiences with my experience though what I want to do You know, I look at these two things and I the first thing that comes to mind is that Yeah, it looks faster, right? But this just looks torquier. This looks like it's gonna be pushing a little bit more water so what I'm more focused on is like am I gaining good top speed but am I losing like power? Am I, am I losing that umph? I'll link all this stuff at the bottom of the video. This is a APC C2 prop, like a model airplane prop. And let me show you guys something. It actually so happens if you look between, or in the middle rather, if you look right there, you'll see that it has the same molding for the pin. So it is a perfect fit for the Minkota. Now, here are the challenges. When lining them up, it's a little too long. So you'll have to shave it down a little bit. I would say about half an inch. You know, you could probably start at a quarter inch. You can do this a couple different ways. You can literally snip them, uh, or you can just get a piece of sandpaper, or if you have a Dremel. Well, you guys know how I like to do things, so. Nice and smooth, you can get a little sandpaper, of course, even all that out. And what this is gonna allow it to do, whenever you're disengaging and re-engaging this motor, you want it to be able to still come up. If the prop is sideways in the water, it's got a little spacer right here. That the blade can actually hit it and it'll self-correct it. It's too long as it comes out of the package and this motor will get jammed up on you uh, when you're making it go up and down if you don't shave off about half an inch. All right, so let's talk a little bit about actually putting this thing together. Uh, you'll need two things. You can go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, just make sure these are stainless steel. You have a 3 8 split ring and you have a 3 8 washer. Again, both stainless steel. 
These run you about a dollar something a pop, comes out to about two dollars. All you actually need from that package though is that just two of the uh, washers and the split. And then, um, here, let's go ahead and put this together actually so I can show you. So these pins, you line them up, simple as that. You're gonna put in one washer, two washer, and you're gonna end it right here with this split, split ring. This is uh, what came originally with the kayak. And this is gonna line up Let's go give it a water test. Yes, I know they're dirty. Whatever. To my surprise, I was actually able to tow one of my friends at least 3.6 to 4 miles an hour. And that's just crazy. New top end speed for the Autopilot 13.6 has now reached 4.7 miles an hour. With the additional support of a secondary motor, I'm now breaking close to 6 miles an hour on my Autopilot. 13.6. So just right off the bat, the Autopilot 13.6 is already pushing its max speed that I had before the prop change. And I'm actually towing a kayak and reaching those numbers. So pushing that towing scene aside, I'm already at about a 20% increase, sometimes even 25. And it's obvious that I'm going to be exceeding some speeds that I'm going to be happy with, especially just paying $10 for it. Uh, I'm already ranging between 4.2 to five mile an hour just spending on your load. And so here's my big question to all you guys and I'd love for y'all to comment below. Should we be paying attention to prop design just a little bit more if I can spend that least amount of money and get that much more performance? Thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you on the next one.